Mick Jones continues to work his magical touch on Argyle. This was another battling performance from the Pilgrims. They've looked a formidable outfit under his reign, and the question that must be on the lips of some supporters is what sort of position would the club now find themselves in if he'd been in charge since the start of the season? It's been 25 years since Plymouth last won at Gay Meadow, but all the early indications were there that the bogey would finally be laid to rest. The breakthrough came in the 52nd minute. Martin Barlow delivered the corner, Chris Billy delivered the finish, and what a finish it was from the fullback. That was the first of four goals in 20 action-packed minutes. Shrewsbury took everybody by surprise, including our cameraman, by hitting back within a minute. Darren Curry started the move down the left. Steve Anthrobus, you'll have to take my word for it, headed home with a powerful header. That goal, as you'd expect, lifted the home side, and for the first time during the game, they began to look as if they might cause problems for the Plymouth defence. But Argyle rode the storm, not that it was a particularly long one, and bounced back, as you've come to expect of them of late. Their second goal came courtesy of a little help from Shrewsbury fullback Pete Winston. Mark Saunders did well to set up Chris Billy, and Billy once again showed his lethal just inside the box. After a finish like that, most Plymouth supporters must have thought they'd done enough to capture all three points. But when did the power of thought ever win you anything in football? Darren Curry, who'd been involved in the build-up to the home sides first, got in on the act again in the lead-up to Shrewsbury's second of the afternoon. His fine cross was well met by Steve Anthrobus, and Ian Stevens couldn't believe his luck as he made it 2-2 with 18 minutes to go. There might have been a time when the Pilgrims would have tried to close up shop and settle for a point, finding themselves all square going into the final stages of a game away from home, but not anymore. Plymouth's makeshift side gave their all to the very end, and the level of commitment paid off with just three minutes to go. Martin Barlow took full advantage of some indecisive defending, his great ball through found Neil Illman, and the Pilgrims were on their way to their fourth win in seven games under Mick Jones's leadership. But even in the dying minutes, this game could have produced a couple more goals. Kevin Seabury had a long-range effort just wide, and Neil Illman would be disappointed he didn't take full advantage of an empty net with virtually the last kick of the match. In the end, it didn't matter. What did matter was that Plymouth are now once again a force to be reckoned with. I mean, winning away from home is a great feeling, and... Uh... I felt the players deserved it. I mean, it was, it was tense at the end, but I didn't think we deserved to be tense, particularly the first half performance. You know, if you're not scared of relegation, you're absolute mug, and I've been, I've recognised relegation from the day I took over. It's a glaring fact, and if people think that this now puts it in the comfort zone, then uh, I would avoid that situation like the plague. If anybody saw me, they'd have seen me on the bench from the place to go forward. Um, I don't see any point in coming to places expecting to get a nil-nil draw, hopefully nick a winner. Um, that only happens four or five times a, se times a season. I think it's a dangerous precedent. I'd rather come away from home against anybody. Chesterfield, Luton, Lees, and take them on and have a right go with them. I mean, that's what we've done today. When you look at the team today, I mean, a couple of rookies in Illman and Collins. Um, only boys really learning the trade. Uh, we've got a student on the bench who went on for the last few minutes. And you consider the players are out the team, and you consider the players I'm trying to sign. Hopefully we'll have a very strong squad for the running in next season. And on the evidence of today, you certainly need to tighten things up at the back still. Well, you've got to give credit to the opposition. I mean, that cross for Anthony Bush's header was absolutely magnificent. Um, Mickey Heathcote only stepped one yard forward and Bruce stepped two yards out. But it was a magnificent cross. You've got to give credit where it's due. Um, but I felt overall, when you look at the performance, and particularly the first half performance, it would have been a tragedy if we'd come away from uh, Game Meadow with anything but three points. What a great win for Plymouth. It takes them up to 15th in the table with 45 points. That's seven clear now of the drop zone.